a significant gap in research literature on institutional racism projected towards Indigenous Australians under the current Northern Territory intervention. This video will seek to persuade the Department of the desperateness of this issue and propose a research solution. Over a course of many years, my fellow colleagues and I have managed to compile a diverse range of studies addressing, addressing racial discrimination against Australian Indigenous peoples. Notable research includes Julian Paulshaw's work, which addresses race relations between the Indigenous and non-Indigenous community within the small town of Burke. Jan Pederman's feminist study drew attention to the issue of women being excluded from the workforce based on their indigeneity. And of notable importance, David Collinsworth addresses the issue for a more holistic approach when he examined the struggle Indigenous Australians face. We questioned the motives of the intervention. If it was in fact due to child sexual assault problems, then why, out of 7,433 children tested, were no cases found? To implement the intervention, the Racial Discrimination Act was suspended causing international condemnation by the United Nations. Surely something is wrong. Indigenous peoples represent only 3% of the population, yet 48% of the juvenile prison population is Indigenous. The first peoples of this nation face gross injustices, and it is crucial we study how institutional racism is being projected through the increased police powers of the intervention. Our research will involve a mixture of realist strategies and methodological pluralism. We recognise that Indigenous peoples of Australia cannot be grouped into one homogenous culture, as there are different clans and over 250 languages spoken. We will therefore focus on one community, Utopia, said to be the most disadvantaged community in Australia. Quantitative approaches include surveys of Utopia's inhabitants and qualitative methodological approaches will involve interviews with members of the community. We aim to provide a comfortable environment for residents to express their feelings freely, which will essentially enhance our research process. We appeal to your department to understand the importance of research into this issue. If you are most concerned about people in the Australian community feeling excluded, then there could be nothing more than to ensure that the First Peoples of this nation are exempt from such an issue. Help us to end racial discrimination and create equality in Australian society.